Hey guys, welcome back. This is the Static Sessions. My name is Jay Static. So today we're going to be talking about RAM versus CPU. Now, uh, while I was always trying to figure out which computer to get, you know, should I get one which has like 100 gigs of RAM or I know it's not even a thing, well it is these days, but 100 gigs of RAM or like do I need a, a CPU which is a, you know, the fastest i7, i9, 3.2, 2.3 gigahertz, whatever it may be. My biggest concern was always trying to figure out which one do I need and why I need it. I never found tutorials online that explained all that stuff. So now I know there's stuff online where you can kind of figure it out. But from my knowledge, uh, what I wanted to do was give back kind of an idea of what I think is important. So whether it's RAM, CPU, or both, um, I believe getting the best of both worlds is always the best case scenario. Uh, and today we live in a world of sample-based synths. And sample-based synths are really simple. It's you know programs like Nexus. Um, there's also Heat Up. They all have these sounds built in. And what they do is they'll record a couple of sounds within a certain number of keys. And then from that, they'll generate the rest of those sounds throughout the keyboard. So as soon as you go up, there might only be an octave of keys, which is the actual sounds that were recorded. And then the rest are generated through pitching those up to certain other notes in that, in that, that uh, within that key. So now, um, if you're dealing with sample-based libraries, so something like Nexus can go up to a hundreds, like with it beyond hundreds of gigs, um, that's going to be something where you're going to be primarily using RAM. So it's going to eat up a lot of the RAM. So having a fast, um, having a lot of RAM and having fast RAM is really important. And these days you can get RAM beyond certain speeds and beyond certain sizes. Another very important thing is having SSDs. Um, those are solid state hard drives. And the reason why they're better than conventional hard drives is just faster read and write time. So when you're accessing, uh, sample based sense such as Nexus. Um, they load a lot faster. Um, you can load a lot more of them based on the RAM size and um, the samples load a lot faster. That's a huge important thing. So those are reasons why I would you oh, I would get more RAM. But when it comes to CPU speed, that's based on real time effects. So real time effects meaning you have your um, whether it's auto tune, whether it's uh, reverbs, delays, uh, compressors, anything that's affecting the audio right there and then as you're playing it, those are real-time effects. Now that's where your CPU comes in massively. You need some fast CPU, you need, um, I would go with the latest generations, and you just want to stick to the latest generations. They're not always the best with what we're trying to do because audio is pretty slow out there. It's not the first things to get updated, but by having faster CPU, you're definitely going to be at least ahead of the game by the time audio does catch up. Um, as you can tell, there's only a couple companies even right now that even use USB-C. So what I would do is try to get a best combination of RAM and CPU. And uh, it took me a long time to figure that out um, because usually when you're trying to build a computer, you're trying to outweigh the cost and you're trying to make sure, okay, well, if I'm going to spend my money somewhere, I'm going to spend it in the right place. What I would suggest is save up your money, buy the best of both worlds that you can, and that way, at least you're at the best possible capacity you can be. The other thing is PC versus Max. When it comes to PC versus Max, you know, there's a huge debate on you know, which one's better, which one's not. Um, me personally, I'm a huge Mac person. Uh, I just feel like everything runs easier for me, runs smoother. It could just be a mental thing, who knows. But to me, Macs are just much smoother for me. Um, only downside on Macs is when it comes to upgrading them, especially when it comes to their new laptops, MacBooks, all that kind of stuff very hard, if not impossible, to um, upgrade. When it comes to PCs, you have the most flexibility in the world. You can literally upgrade them as you keep going, uh, whether it comes to RAM, CPUs, hard drives, inputting more. It's super flexible. I feel like if you know your stuff about PCs and you know your stuff about hard drives and RAM and CPU, one, you're probably not watching this video, so you're probably going to go grab a PC. But if you don't know your stuff about it, what I would say is, get a Mac much easier or take your attempts at PCs and uh, see if you're able to, you know, find the best of both worlds for you. PCs are also a lot cheaper. Uh, you can you can find the right gear for a lot less. Um, so for myself, what I'm running currently is 
a 3.7 gigahertz uh, Intel E5 quad core processor, 32 gigs of RAM at 1666 megahertz DDR3. Now, that might not mean anything to anybody. Uh, to me, it barely means anything as well, but I do know I have 3.7 gigahertz quad core, which means multi-threading is possible. Um, if your platform, if your DAW supports it, DAW will go into depth on what that is a little bit later on, but it pretty much if you use Logic Pro Tools uh, Ableton, you can make use of the hyper-threading in the quad core. Uh, when it comes to 32 gigs of RAM, 1666 uh, megahertz, 32 gigs of RAM is the amount of space I have in my temporary RAM, um, random access memory. When it comes to the 1666 megahertz, that's how fast the RAM can read and spit out basically the information that it's given. So if it opens up a sample, how fast it's communicating between uh, the CPU and itself is your uh, 1666 megahertz. So that's it based on the uh, RAM versus CPU side of things. I hope this video did some knowledge. I mean, you can, there, I'm sure there's guys out there who are gonna be like, oh, you didn't explain this properly, you didn't explain that properly. For me, this video is strictly for people who might not know the best or might not know the right things when it comes to uh, CPU and RAM, but knowing that the best of both worlds is the best bet you can get, that's the route you wanna go. So definitely invest in RAM and CPU, and honestly, get an SSD, you will notice things which are much faster and much easier um, for your life for sample-based plugins and real-time effects. I hope you guys like this video, CPU versus RAM. It's, I think it's a very important thing to know. Um, if you did like the video, please like, subscribe, comment, hit that little bell as well if you want to get notifications on when my next videos are coming out. It's all beneficial for you guys. Static Sessions, Jay Static, signing out.